In the dark caves of society's forgotten rooms, Earth's strangest creatures still thrive. A species known for its irregular habits, the human writer represents an incoherent branch of the human evolutionary tree. Appearing to possess many of the typical traits of a human person, a closer inspection of this strange species shall reveal that they are anything but. Forgoing the usual life cycle of its species, the human writer represents a strange amalgamation of the childlike and adult, never truly existing in either sphere. Here we can observe a writer in its natural habitat. Unlike regular members of its human counterparts, the writer is unusually incapable of attracting a mate. This is largely because the human species calls for attraction in one of two specific ways. Firstly, by presenting their desirability physically through certain grooming and fashion choices, and secondly, by demonstrating their ability to function fully in their species' adult role, signifying the age of sexual maturity. The writer does neither of these things. The female variety can most often be found wearing the clothes typical among their male counterparts, confusing potential mates, and neither the male nor the female demonstrates any significant difference between their waking and sleeping attire. Without the physical demarcations of desirability and attraction, the writer is perceived by potential mates as sloppy and or disinterested. Furthermore, while the human writer may live alone, they appear incapable of performing the typical adult functions notable in the human species. Hygiene is notably optional among such creatures, with showering and other forms of grooming taking a backseat to furious finger clicking. As well, they can rarely be observed cooking and instead make meals of whatever pre-made configurations can most quickly be poured down the pie hole. The writer's social inability is further exaggerated by a rather cruel trick of Mother Nature in which the creature receives its relational interaction while alone and conversing with fictional beings it believes to be real. The writer spends inordinate amounts of time alone, and where normal members of the human species would become mentally unstable, the human writer simply begins to converse with fully-fledged beings that live within its own mind. In an ironic twist, the loneliness caused insanity of a normal human is reversed in an insanity-driven loneliness. Solitude is the cause of mental instability in many humans, but for the writer, their insanity causes them to seek solitude while simultaneously tricking them into believing they are conversing normally. A further conundrum exists within the species. At once among the most emotional of the human creature, they also exhibit a strange ruthlessness in regards to that which they love. The very beings with which they so lovingly converse in solitude, they are quick to murder for the sake of plot. They are snappish with those who interrupt them, and a quick look at their Google search history reveals questionable motives. Yet these same creatures can be found combusting into a puddle of tears only a moment later, suggesting that rational processing holds no authority within their creative world. The human writer will forever remain a mystery. Yet its strange habits provide an excellent source of study, and, when they can be mustered toward a goal, the resulting creations bring a source of joy to many. Indeed, while socially enigmatic, the human writer performs a prominent role in the culture and society of the modern world. Indeed, there is none on earth quite like it.